Hi, I'm State Senator Pete Lacido. COVID has taken a toll on all of us. We have a lot of individuals that had to collect unemployment benefits. We've heard their stories, thousands that have called the office, wrote us letters, emailed us. Today, you're gonna to hear their stories. So my first claim went in on April 19th. At that time, I received my determination letter and amount. Um, then I went to certify my weeks and it came back at zero. So I tried to reach out to unemployment to get help, some sort of answer, the phone, it would just hang up on me, the chat, it would kick me out. Uh, I let it go for that first claim. Then I tried again that second time, uh, two weeks later, still got nowhere. The problem was the ongoing problem of no contact, uh, no explanation. Um, that kept going and still has been ongoing. I still haven't heard anything to this day. Have you been paid any unemployment benefits since you filed? No. You're going to be starting your fourth month coming up this August. Mm -hmm. What do you think the unemployment office owes you as far as an explanation and what is it that you want to see them do moving forward? Um, for an explanation, I'd like to know why it's been 99 days and counting since I reached out to them and haven't heard anything back at all other than a single letter telling me they won't be going green uh, for online correspondence that they never sent me anyways, um, as well as at least a partial amount for the amount that my summer job closed that I wasn't able to receive, around $5,600. At one point on June 5th, I had emailed you. I had my account open. I could still see my claim. Four days later on June 9th, my claim was closed with no explanation and it was backdated to May 2nd. So the online system has many problems and it's confusing, not just for me, I'm fairly technologically advanced, but my parents and other people aren't. And be, to be able to call and not get a human being, Don't no matter how many times you try. Programming? I do, yeah. And even to me, it was slightly confusing. On the initial form, I had to mark my employer as full-time, even though they're part-time. Uh, there was no option for just plain part-time. There was part-time due to COVID, but obviously that wasn't the case. Right now, I'm working some odd jobs just to try and make up some of the income doing home remodeling, but that's whenever I can get it, maybe once, twice a week. But all that other time, I could have been standing in front of their office waiting to speak with a human, and I would gladly do that if they were open. Uh, keep trying. I know eventually maybe we'll get through to someone. Hopefully unemployment hears this or sees the reaction people are having, and they take it more seriously, hire more people, and help everyone that needs help. You've heard the stories. We've heard you in our office. Now it's time to make some changes so that everybody gets the benefits they deserve.